Thanks very much, Habes. Peyton, great to see you. Thanks, it was a, you ver too. a very strong win out there today. Conditions very different than Indian Wells. Is your game feeling these conditions a bit more? Yeah, you know, it's the courts I feel like are still a little bouncy, but there's a little more heat out here, so the ball flies a little more, and I think that kind of plays to my advantage when I hit a heavy ball. Playing, playing the attacking tennis you do, do you find when ball moves through the air a little bit quicker, it's better for you, or do you like a slower court because you actually have so much power? Um, I think I like both. You know, I just have to adjust pretty quickly, especially coming from a slower court to a harder court. You know, a slower court, I'm able to hold the ball a little lo longer, yeah. you know, pick my targets. Um, on a quicker court, you know, you kind of have to have a target predetermined a little bit in your head and commit to it. You had a, a, a brilliant match last week that you were unfortunate to not come out on the on the winning end, but um, you played beautiful tennis against Arena Thank Sabalenka. You. you must have come away feeling pretty good about that, though. Yeah, you know, it was it was definitely a struggle for a couple of nights after that match. Uh, I think I had nightmares, but about you know being up 40 love. Uh, but I definitely learned from that um, after that. But uh, at the same time, you know, I gained so much confidence the way I was playing out there, moving out there. You know, what I'm working on in practice really showed up in that match. And I think you know from start to finish, I really believed my, in myself, and that paid off. She she won the Australian Open this year, and and you know you took her to the brink. Um, what's what's maybe the biggest lesson takeaway that you that you got from it? Yeah, you know, um, you got to take opportunities when you have them, um, and you have to go swinging. You know, I think sometimes you get up or you get satisfied, and you kind of wait for them to make that mistake, and you know that kind of thing. Uh, but you got to take it to these players. Everyone's good here. You know, they're going to take every opportunity they can, and that's what I didn't do. You won NCAAs in 22, and already at the end of 23, you already cracked into the top 50 on the WTA. Pretty astounding how how quick it's happened. What's what's been the the biggest challenge, or or what's been sort of something you didn't expect would be as as sort of easy as it has been to move up so quick? Yeah, I think um, the biggest thing is adjusting. You know, uh, I'd never traveled this much. Um, it's a lot of on the go, go go go, 24/7. Um, not being at home a lot. Uh, so, you know, fortunate that my family travels to a lot of these tournaments. Um, so it kind of feels like I'm at home, but I think that's the biggest thing right now. Now, you, you talked about your family coming to tournaments. I know, I know they're here in, in full force. So how, how big is the, is the Peyton Stearns army over here this week? Uh, we got my parents, my aunt, my cousin, her husband, and her two little kids. <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole lot. Now, is, is this, this a loud bunch? Okay. It is. <laughs> is, is it like five, six people, but they sound like 10, 20 people? Yeah, you know, the little ones, their voices aren't the loudest, but I can definitely hear them. <laughs> That's amazing. It must give you so much comfort. It feel a lot more like a home tournament when you have such a great support system here. It does, yeah. You know, you really feel the support and love from the sidelines. No matter what you do, they're always there. You'll, you'll take on Vika Azarenka in the next match, someone who has a wealth of experience behind her. But it um, doesn't really look like you get intimidated, regardless of who you play on the other side. Yeah, you know, I, you respect the other player on the other side of the court and what they've done in their career. You know, she's she's where she's at for a reason. But at the same time, you know, everyone's good and everyone can take anyone any day. So I kind of have that mentality. You know, I respect them, but I also respect the fact that I'm a good player. Well, listen, we love your attitude. We love the way you rock that forehand on the court. Best <laughs> of luck. Thank you.